back. Well, I'm back. Yeah. This, is, this is a man named Dana. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, did um, yeah, Frank said that he was um. My mom went up to visit him, but you were having a hard time getting in touch with him. Uh, not really. Why? Because he said that um, he had a hearing on Thursday, back on the 18th. Uh, of March. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh huh. And that they said that there was uh, no pornography or pictures found in the on the computer. Uh, that's not well. That wasn't mentioned at all at the hearing. Um, uh, but. My, my, I told him that my understanding was they hadn't found any pictures. Correct. I, I talked to Sheriff Smith last night for a little while, you know, about Michael Vaughn and the investigation. Okay. And they said there is no pictures. And they said uh, they sent it out to have another county take a look at it as well. I said, that's fine, sir. I said, the only problem is if you go to YouTube and you go YouTube Michael Vaughn's name and you Google my name on there and it'll say, during Frank's arrest, I videotaped Frank's arrest. Okay. And Michael Rohn clearly said, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that he's got pictures and he's got proof. And he'll come back and show us the pictures. Okay. Okay. Michael issued out a warrant based on that belief. Michael never had any photos. Michael never had any proof. Yet he said he did. And it's on video. It's not my word he said, she said, and I'm just a clown and Michael's a duly sworn citizen. No officer of the court, and he would never lie. Well, Michael obviously lied. All right, well, that that really, whether he lied to you or not, doesn't really matter. Oh, why would that, why not? Because uh, we have a statement from Frank. Okay, the statement. Frank gave a statement. Frank gave a statement that, uh, that he, he was told that if he cooperated and he did what they told him to do and say everything that they told him to say, that he'd be let he'd be left to go home. So Frank said, he agreed to every single thing that they said that he did, that he did okay. this, he did this, he did this, he did this. Understood. And then when he was in the sheriff's department and he said to the sheriff, you know, uh, Michael Rohn, everything, fine, you know, you're just going to give me counseling and you're going to let me go home. And I got to winterize the farm. Well, the pipes are going to freeze. I really got to go home. Fine. You know, you, you know, did I do everything you wanted me to do? You said you let me go home and, uh, I, I, you know, I'm free to leave. I could go. What do you think Michael did when he said after Frank confessed? Right. I've got both. I've seen both of his statements. I've got them. No, no, no. I'm saying after after Frank con, uh, confessed to whatever, 10, 20, 30, 100 of these heinous acts, do you think they let him go home? Right. But that, but you, you know, did, they let, did they let him go home? Right. Did they? Uh, I, don't, I believe he was arrested. No. He, was, he went home. Okay. Okay. So he went home. And he went home where my daughter was. They knew Frank had a gun. And they still let him go home. So obviously they didn't think perceive him to be that big of a threat. Well, his, his, I don't think your daughter was there at the time. He was, she was already in uh, foster care at the time. No, she was. She was not. Okay. No, he, she was helping Frank load up the computers into, into the vehicles. Into his okay. vehicle to bring it to the police department. All right. Okay, she was not in custody. Okay, the police were investigating Frank for three weeks. Okay. Okay, and Frank was never taken into, uh, the children weren't taken into custody, and Frank didn't have an order not to turn up to this house. He just didn't come back because my mom said, you know, can you just stay away until the investigation? Okay, so like I said, bottom line, the police officer said he has the pictures, he's got the proof. Okay? So the, 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 that only uh, related to two, two charges of child pornography. Uh, and Frank admitted that he took the pictures. Now, if they can't prove that the pictures are pornographic because they don't have them, then those two charges are going to go away. So, if it, if but that doesn't that doesn't negate the other all the other charges that Frank admitted to about touching the touching the girl. I didn't say anything about whether he touched the girl or not. I didn't say that to you. I mentioned something about child pornography pictures. Right, and I'm telling you this as I told Frank. If they don't have the pictures, the charges are we either going to beat them or they're going to drop them. Okay, were you aware that my child uh, commi uh, attempted to commit suicide on Friday and she's now in a mental institution? I was not. Okay, well, see, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm trying to explain to you people. You people don't seem to see what's going on, the dynamics that is going on here. You're dealing with a girl who's going to be now considered certifiably crazy. Because she's okay. Committed. Okay. Now, he said, she said words. And if the police department just asked the parents, you know, does this, this child have a propensity to lie? We would say, absolutely. She does some very interesting, she has some very interesting uh, mental behavior quirks. Okay. 
Okay, so now how's Michael Rowan going to put on his, uh, as his, uh, you know, cross-examine the only person that's accusing him of doing anything wrong is a mental patient and an infant. It's a mental patient and an infant who gave a statement uh, that is consistent with the statement that Frank gave. Frank gave the statement and the Frank wishes to withdraw his statement. He doesn't wish to have... He can withdraw his statement all he wants, but the fact is they're going to use it against him. Okay, one, if, if, if the statement was given voluntarily, uh-huh. why can't he withdraw it voluntarily? That's not the way it works. I mean, he made a statement. It's evidence against him. So he can now he can now testify that I lied when I gave that statement, or I only said it because I thought, you know, that's what Rowan wanted to hear. Or he can explain the statement, but they're still going to use it. So, so he's so he's not going to be able to rely on the Fifth Amendment and say that he doesn't have uh, um, the ability to not testify against himself. They're going to use his testimony against him. That's not testimony. Testimony is when you give it under oath. He doesn't have to testify against himself under oath. That's a statement he gave during the course of an investigation. Okay, so it was a statement that he gave, and he said that, and Frank knows the definition of pornography. I just told you the pornography charges are part of, if you don't have the pictures, they're probably going to go away. That's the least of his problems. Okay, so when, what... It's all the counts of aggravated sexual battery that are his problem. Okay, so when an aggravated sexual battery, is there a third-party impartial witness that the prosecutor is going to bring forth? The witness they're going to bring forth is the young lady that said everything that happened, and the other evidence is going to be the statement that Frank made uh, to Officer Rohn. Okay. That's going to be the whole case. And are they going to um, have any kind of form of damages? Because no action could rise without damages. Is there any damages? Is there anybody coming forth and claiming that there's damages? What do you mean damages? The law, the, 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 this isn't a civil suit. This is a criminal suit. That's right. The, 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 it's against the law to touch a child uh, the way Frank allegedly did. Okay. Who's under the age of 13. Is, without, is, it, is it a public law? It is a, yeah, it's a public law. Okay, where did this, where did this alleged uh, incident occur? Well, well, what's your point? I'm Frank's attorney. I don't have to, I don't have to, I don't have to be uh, grilled and, and uh, listen to your questions. I, I'm not obligated to answer your question. What's the point? I returned your call and I'm asking you, what is the point of your call? The point is that Frank wants me to put paperwork in his behalf for the court. He wants to what? He wants me to file motions on his behalf, or at least put notices into the court on his behalf. Well, you don't do I, I'm his attorney. I do stuff in the criminal case on his behalf. I don't know what you're doing on the civil side or anything else that you've got personal against Roan. That's none of my concern. That's my concern is to defend Frank in this criminal proceeding, in this very serious criminal proceeding. That's right. And what I'm asking is some very simple, common uh, criminal procedure that you would try to take into court, and you just try to say, is there a third-party impartial witness to verify this he said, she said testimony other than Frank's statement? No. So Frank, to, to my knowledge, there isn't. And, and at this point, I'm done talking to you because I don't have to talk to you. I'm Frank's attorney, okay? I, mean, Frank, I, don't, I don't appreciate your attitude or your tone. Frank wants to file a lawsuit for theft of services on your behalf. He wants to go after you civilly. Good. He can do that. I'll give him back his money if he wants to get another attorney. I'll talk to Frank about that, but I don't have to talk to you about that. Because all we I have nothing to you, sir. Okay, what I'm trying. And I don't like your attitude or your tone. I don't have an attitude, and I don't. Have... Yeah, you do. All we. And I don't like it, and I'm not obligated to talk to you anymore. And if you have any, Frank has any concerns, he can talk to me directly. Understood? All right. Well, he could take. Understood? Yeah, I got to record. Okay, you're understood. On a, you're, on you radio, you're on a radio. Thank you show. for your call. You're on a radio show. Ah, got him. 